All right, let's see what happens next. All right. What up, Papyrus? I'm assuming that's what's going to happen next. He's going to be like, how did you escape? Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you are right here. Wait a second! You're not supposed to escape! Get back there! Now I guess we have to fight again. Papyrus, again, blocks the way. What if I... I don't want to insult them first, though. That seems rude. And I like Papyrus. Now he's already fighting. So I guess I get another attempt to figure out what the hell. I guess we'll just do Mercy for a while and see what happens. Excuse me. Maybe I just have to get good at this. Bone clone. All right. Marinara sauce behind his ear. Dude, you know, you do what you gotta do. Sometimes it's dab marinara sauce on your ear. Ow, oh, you got me with the sneak one. Bishy cream. Maybe I have to pass enough of these checks to be... Anime powder. Unparalleled spaghetti horror. I see I don't I don't know what that word's supposed to be. Shit. Ow, balls. Cute juice. Take some monster candy. Very unlicorice like. You recover 10 HP. I really like licorice, personally. Attraction Slime. Mercy. The king will trim a hedge. Sometimes kings got hedges to trim. Beauty Yogurt. Oh god. Uh, yep, you still don't have ears. Lots of admirers. Oh, almost. Rattling his bones. Balls. Rattling his bones. Hmm. Trying hard to play it cool. And dating might be kind of hard. Whoop. Oh, f balls. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. Anything new in the note? Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried Aww. sick. Slightly bone trussled. Papyrus! Thanks, buddy. Alright. I guess we'll do it again. One day I'll get it right. Or I'll do it repeatedly and that will trip the event. Well, I'm glad you know what happens. Back again, hey? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural you would want to see me. And the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Alright. Boink. Ow, balls. Really, right off the bat, I screwed that up. Thinking about what to wear for his date. Boink. 
Boink. Oop. Hmm. Oh, dodge them bones. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne. I really like the way that rhymes. Yeah. Dab some marinara sauce. Aha! All right. Oh, Lord. More stuff, more sparing, unparalleled spaghetti dude. Fuck. Let's try again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just like that. You do have a great smile, Papyrus. All right. Nope. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh. Feel like I'm doing something wrong. You're not. Don't tell me that. No spoilers, please. I don't think you are doing anything wrong. What else is there to do? I don't know. Lots of stuff. Do better, anyways. <laughs> do better. It will work on you. You're not the persistentist. I've got a younger sister, dude. I'm more persistent than anything. I'm more persistentnister. That is wrong, grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistentist as Papyrus, the persistentnestinist. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. All right, butthead. It's a note from Papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host. Papyrus. Still dry food? Oh, there's a hot dog cut up in the kibble now. Cool. Hot dog in the kibble. Is the door still locked? Gets locked. Alright. Let's go. Go increase our maximum health just a weeble. A wee little bit. Because, uh, it's available to me. Welcome to the Snowed Inn. Yes, yes. We've been here before. All bundled up. Yeah? yeah. What you playing? This game is not to fucking shut up. Fair enough. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep! Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Cool. Hopefully that'll get me a little further. Maybe I should put my faded ribbon back on and, uh... Papyrus won't hit me as hard. Because I'll look cute. Can I go back in now? No, it's still locked from the inside. Oh. How'd he get me in there? It's locked from the inside. Maybe there's a back entrance. He just drops you down the hall. All right, it's the great and powerful P. I'm back again. And now you realize the true reason why. 
You just miss seeing my face so much. I'm getting really tired of capturing you. No. I guess I'll just accept my failure. <laughs> you want to fight? Uh, not really. Okay. New hoo hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. And I'll never join the Royal Guard and... My friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be what a friend's loser. I'd like to be friends. Of course I want to be friends with you. You're... Hot tuna. I guess hot bananas is more what I've been saying lately. As opposed to hot tuna. You're gonna make an allowance? Wowee! I haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Wow. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You know, that sounds a lot like elementary school. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Drefmer. Dreamer? Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Goodness. I know, I wanna go I wanna go in his house. I wanna see what I wanna see his sweet digs. He's a skeleton, I wonder if it's a coffin. Wow, you're so eager to date me, you're trying to go to my house without me. That's really weird. Uh, so you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh, look at us go. Trucking along. Trucking back. Trucking back to the house. Excellent. It's unlocked. Well, I'd like to go in. Interesting. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. I love it. It's a nice TV too. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Holy shit. A book. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Absolutely. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. I'm assuming this is the kitchen. Are you following me? Huh. Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Huh. 
Interesting. Huh. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. How kind of you. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. What do you mean, cupcakes? Why the hell is the sink on top of this cabinet? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Pupper dog. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Damn it, Sans. Stop plaguing my life with in incidental music. Alright. What's in the fridge? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. I'm always going to refer to our refrigerator as the food museum from this point on. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Your bones? Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. I almost feel like you ought to have like a Homestar Runner voice. I haven't practiced that enough. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Not yet. The door is locked. Alright, I guess we'll go inside. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yeah, let's go inside. Interesting. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Good call. What are these? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Good theory. I also like his ultra cool race car bed. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise, cruise while I snooze. Ah, I still cannot speak. There's a lot of text in this one. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book is another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Is this scenic your room? Do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Well, there's another, there's another room. Patient Papyrus. There are no skeletons in my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Excellent. Well, I guess we'll start the date. Let's get this bone train on the tracks. Dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hood. Sun. <laughs> Crime. Reel it in. Population. Egg. This is incredible. 
No, I think we're ready for step two. God, the art's great. Step two, ask them on a date. Human! Hey, the great Papyrus will go on a date with you. Yes. Happy Papyrus. Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Absolutely. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. Your dating power. Wow. Uh-oh. Is Papyrus gonna outdate me? Uh-oh, he's gonna wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case. He's a cool dude. The coolest dude, in fact. With his basketball shoulders. That's some, that's some secret style. A genuine compliment. And his Mickey Mouse pants. Mm -hmm. Killing it. Uh oh, hidden power time. Oh no. What's the secret? My hat? Oh, look at that. It's a present. Spaghetti! <laughs> Aw, this is a great date. He's so cute. Artisanal spaghetti. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in an oaken cask. I don't know how that works. Oh god, I keep... My face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. <laughs> uh. Kicking butt. Take that. Date power. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything, human. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose you, to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips, and hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. <laughs> well, no, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for second best. Good call. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Nailed it. That's so cute. Can we say hey to Sans yet? Yeah, Sans, I think. 
still locked. Yep. Well, on that note, I think we'll... I was going this way. On that note, I think we're going to end this go-round, and uh, see you guys soon.